Today I'm going to show you how to quickly generate colliders for your VRChat world. Usually what people do is they throw a mesh collider on their world objects and call it a day. However, as you can see through this video, which I'll link in the description, the performance of mesh colliders is pretty bad. So if you have a really complex scene with a lot of mesh colliders, it can potentially cause a lot more performance issues than just using box colliders. So how do we generate them? First of all, I recommend all of your main walls and floors and whatnot to be in their own collection. Then you're going to duplicate the collection. I'm going to call this new collection box colliders. Next, you're going to select all of the objects and combine them with control J. Then you'll add an edge split modifier. Make sure to reduce this angle to zero and then apply. What this does is it converts every single face into its own object. I'm going to disable the main collection just to show this off. As you can see, each face is its own object. Then we select all with A, do P, and by loose parts. This will turn every single face into its own object. Now you can export your world. Do selected objects, object types only mesh, and then apply scalings FBX all. And then you can select all of your colliders and do the same thing. Now over in Unity, you can import your FBXs, drag them both into the hierarchy. Make sure that their transforms are correct, they're at zero. If I disable main world, you'll see that the mesh colliders or the world colliders are still here and visible, but we'll solve this. First of all, select all of the children, which are going to be all of your colliders, individual faces. You're going to add a component to box collider. This adds the box collider and it's shaped to the mesh. Then you just remove mesh render. This prevents them from being rendered. And then you can see each individual face is its own object. So as you can see here, it actually didn't work too well for slanted objects. Um, it just created a box collider that is not going to work. Um, since this is probably an edge case, you can probably go in and manually do these. But for the most part, every single face has its own collider and you can probably even delete the ceiling ones if you wanted to. Um, and this is just a really quick way to do box colliders so that way the world performs a little bit better. If you like this video, be sure to like and then subscribe if you want to see future content. If you'd like to see some other tutorials, you can check them out here.